What brought me to the work? It's an interesting question. It was accident, mostly. And I didn't really know what it was about. It was a time in my life when I was doing a lot of different personal growth, exploration, consciousness raising kinds of things. And I had a friend who had uh, met Hamid and done a three month uh, process. He called it the returning process at the time with him. And uh, it sounded interesting to me. A kind of emotional house cleaning was the way I understood it. And when that was finished, there were several of us were uh, interested in continuing to work with Hamid. So uh, he started a small group. This is in Boulder, Colorado in probably 1975, 74 or 75. And um, it was interesting for me because several times I felt that I had understood everything that he was teaching only to find that there was a little bit more, and that little bit more turned into a whole new realm of teaching, a whole new dimension of teaching. At first I thought that three months would be uh, what I would do with him, and then I would move on to some other practice or technique or system, the way I had been doing. Um, and then that happened several more times for me. I thought, well, this is it, this is complete only there was a little bit more. And so the diamond approach has continued to unfold for me for a lot of years. I don't find him, I, I never found him particularly charismatic as a teacher, but there was something really compelling about him that um, got my attention, that I wanted to know more about, some genuineness, some, something authentic about him and um, no pretense about him and I think that's one of the main factors that kept me involved in the work for a long long time still does in a way there are a couple different ways people get engaged with the work uh, sometimes people start doing private work with a diamond approach teacher one-on-one -on -one work and uh, that work scheduled for an hour every other week or uh, every week sometimes. So um, it's a fairly familiar format. And what happens in those hours is open-ended inquiry. The teacher guides the student, asks the student questions. Um, there's not a lot of offering reflections or interpretations, very little of that actually. More it's a chance for students to open up their experience. The teachers are trained. There's a, quite an extensive training program. And uh, the teacher will help the student to track their experience, to go deeper with their experience, to identify uh, barriers to being more awake or more free or more at home in their life, and uh, work with those barriers but also help the student to see qualities of their depth that the student might have been missing. So that's one way into the work is through private sessions. The other way is through a group. And uh, groups are uh, sometimes uh, pretty small, 25, 30 people, sometimes 100 to 200 people. Uh, the group formats include um, presentations, by a teacher, group meditations, group practices, um, and that process of inquiry is included in the group uh, work as well as in the private one-on-one -on -one work. What brings us to the work I think is a great question and uh, pertinent to everybody who's interested in it. It's interesting that the diamond approach doesn't hold any particular uh, state or experience as more important than another. So where some systems might be focused on cultivating love or cultivating a certain uh, steadfastness of presence and non-reactive presence, um, another system might be uh, helping people to be more open in their relationships 
Each of these are important to the diamond approach, but none is more a focus than any other. But we can say there are some general overall aims of the diamond approach, broad aims. Uh, so waking up is one. And we come to the diamond approach to wake up to more of what we are, wake up to the world. It necessarily means waking up to difficult places as well as beautiful places or uh, deep and rich places. And so the diamond approach uh, uses those difficult places as doorways to deeper waking up, deeper understanding. So we could say waking up is one of the aims or goals of the diamond approach. Mm -hmm.